Good evening, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to another episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR on the PC. This game never gets old. Today we're whipping out in the Toyota Corolla for a night shift impromptu and we're going to be patrolling the central district so I'll show you the area today. I can keep commentary to a minimum, minimum so you can enjoy the game's immersion to the fullest. And we're going to be patrolling around Winter Wonderland in Legion Square. So buckle up, I hope you guys enjoyed this patrol. We're on the brink of Christmas season and we're going to be heading out in a night shift. So let's go. By the way, as always, this video is in 4K. Make sure that you're watching it with a good internet connection. And if you're with, with YouTube Premium, you'll get an, ex an upgraded bandwidth for the video as well. So you can watch it even higher quality. Definitely recommend it. Okay, that Ford Fiesta just went through the red light. I'm going to pull him over because it's the main road as well. Control, show me on a traffic stop. 10 4 copy. Approach with caution. No. Not there. Come on. What is he doing? Police, pull over to the side of the road. What is this guy doing? Hello. Do you know why I stopped you? Why did you run a red light? She says it was only a few seconds. I can smell some alcohol. Can I see your Driver's license, please. Hey, you, you got your ID? Appreciate it. Yeah, I could smell some alcohol from the car, so I'm gonna have a chat to the driver and ask her to get out of the vehicle. Merry smoke. Right, so I could smell some alcohol inside the car. I'm gonna ask you to do some Wait roadside up. tests. So let's see. Follow my finger. Or pen, or whatever it is. Uh. You see, for some reason, as far as I know, the normal cars don't have a breathalyzer equipped, so we've got to make do. Uh, let's see. 
stand on one leg. This is going to be interesting. 1,000, 2,000. Okay, carry on, carry on, carry on. Past that, okay, last check. We're going to do, I want you to walk in a straight line and turn, okay? Mm hmm. Carry on, carry on, turn around. And walk in a straight line back to me again. Okay. So. It's your mum in the car then, is it? Yeah? Okay. Says that her mum's been drinking, taking her mum back from a little, a cute little uh, boomer party. Alright, uh. I'm gonna give you a, a warning for that red light. Because it's a main road. Next time, we won't be that lenient. You've also taken down your registration plate too, okay? Alright, drive on. safely. Damn it. Attention all units. Code for no additional officers needed. Let's go back to the area that we're meant to patrol in. Which is going to be a bit of a difficulty. Because you know, quite a bit of land to cover until we get to the next slip road. Officers report a criminal resisting arrest on or not. Bridge Street. Yeah, received. Okay, we've got a stolen moped, which is urgent apparently. Moped involved in violent crime, cited by CCTV. Possibly armed. Okay. I think I know what we're dealing with here. Yeah, I think I have a visual. That's him. Show me a pursuit. What the... Just did a freaking reset, didn't he? Going back in Samara Park, I think I see him taking a right right towards the residential area. Risk's gonna be high at the moment, medium I'd say, because pedestrians are gonna be less this time of night. I'm going to Nicola Avenue, keeping a healthy distance from the vehicle too. Right onto the main road. Good greeny ATS.
Now the best Bochy Boulevard. Bravo Victor 2 2. I can't read the bottom of the plate. What's this guy doing? Trying to avoid me, that obviously. Now going westbound, Orchardville Avenue. It's approaching the intersection right, right onto Poplar Street. Fun fact. Well, it's not that fun, but it's interesting. I'm not ramming the car. I'm not pushing the acceleration to the max. I'm not yanking the steering wheel. I'm just trying to gently go with the flow, and it seems that I've got control of the car a lot more than I've had before in this episode. Okay, he's going back towards Mirror Park again. I want to see if I can get a trap to set up for him, but I'm not sure if we'll have one available. We'll have to wait for backup to be available first. I think he's gonna do something stupid and crash into a car any minute though, so we're not gonna call back up just yet. Keep on following this idiot. Pursuits like this happen longer than this in real life anyway, so we'll just chance it and see how it goes. We're still in initial pursuit phase, but this driver, despite he's really wanting to get away from us, with all these U-turns that he's doing, I think he's gonna crash at some point and we're gonna to need to keep a distance. We don't want to put too much pressure on them either, because then they'll do things silly. Now, San Andreas Avenue. Still fighting to stop. East Mirror Drive. To prepare for backup. Right, right into the residential complex. I will leave the sirens on because we're pursuing someone and I'm not just warning other people than me but also the bike that's being chased. 
It's not ideal, but it's better than someone reversing out of their driveway and then clunk, hitting the bike or myself and causing damage to multiple parties. Run out burn with Boulevard. I think they've got a helicopter for us, which is great because I'm going to want to see the traffic that's ahead of me. Yep, they've got the spotlight on me. More well, on him, actually. The spotlight on the suspect vehicle. Right, right into... Oh. See what I mean? This guy is... Oops, I want to try and box him in. Uh, uh, oh, okay, right, that's it. He went into us. Get out of the car. Get the bike. Right, get him. We've got Sucker over here. Not the real Sucker, he's just wearing his shirt. I'm nicknaming that. Keep your hands so I can see him. We're going to need an ambulance ASAP. Scene management. Yes, smell over here. I'm going to need a traffic unit over here at some point. Assistance needed in West Finewood. Let's kill the sirens. Where are we going? Charlie 4, roger that. We're in the area. <laughs> Show me investigating. 10 4, copy that. They're trying to heal him. Aww. Okay, officers, we've got a big problem on our hands. This is not going to end very well. Okay, people. Move back. Move back. Alright, you as well, ma'am. You leave this area. Right, we got a casualty. And we caused it. Yep, this guy is filming. This is so realistic. We get attacked right now as well. Okay, right. We're going to need more units over here because this is not going to be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got a bit of a bad situation. I'm going to create a outer cordon first. I'll create an inner cordon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shield this incident from the general public. This whole road is going to be closed off now, unfortunately. Suppressive fire coming up. I'll cover you. Hey. Okay, officers. I need a perimeter over here. We got an officer involved collision. No way. This is fucking nuts. And one fatality. Start the inner cordon. With the tarpaulin. We get some forensics, some good pictures. Unfortunately, this police car is now going to be part of the crime scene. Or, well, I mean, crime scene, I would say the incident. So, this car's engine goes off. And I'm going to put a tent over here. Give the guy a bit of dignity. Oh, what happened to my car? That is not realistic. Okay, let me spawn it again. That was silly. Okay. 
Alright, get out of the way, you prawns. That was my car. Okay. And this woman does not want to leave. Oh, these people are actually taking photos. This is so interesting. This is why we need an outer cordon. The outer cordon is now being created. So this video was originally going to be quite an innocent patrol around the Winter Wonderland of Legion Square, which I'm apologies, you guys haven't seen it yet, but it's very nice. It's got Christmas trees, it's got a uh, mini London Eye, whatever you call it, and a carousel, I guess you could say, and also a few snowmen here and there, well, artificial ones, it's not snowy yet, but this has turned into us trying to keep this crime scene of this incident under control now. I left a little gap here so the forensics can come. And I'm gonna have to get people to disperse. She needs to go as well. Nope. Careful. I know you want to kill everyone, ambulance, but today is not the day. Okay. This guy needs to be searched. Let's go search two back over here. Come on, he's dressed like him as well. All he needs now is a little knit thing on the top of his head. The tie in his bandana. And <laughs> it's like a handland version of him. Bag of meth and fentanyl. Pair of panties, oh. Up to naughty stuff, eh? He says they're for his girlfriend, but I think they're for him. Requesting prisoner transport. Nope, I don't want a tow truck. Get out of the way, where is this guy? Don't sink into the wall like that, that's just rude. Requesting prisoner transport. In, How cool is that? Uh, Talks West. to video game. Let's help this ambulance. Uh, I know that you're very dumb, I'm sorry, but I'll help you. But oh my god, really? That's how you repay me? Seriously? Here you go. Damn. Police van should be here any minute. Sergeant on scene. I'm writing a police report before we get a forensics team to come and clear that body. Okay, so she's going to take him That's to the police crazy. station. And I've already written my notes to the case. So now we're going to go get a coroner for it. Assistance required in West Vinewood. Oops. Punch in the air. What is that with the FPS already? Taking the body away. And they're gonna struggle, aren't they? 